about what happens so many times in our life for people who come to the Lord. They come in and they have the veil on, right? Like we were talking about. They have the veil on and they're here and they hear God. The, the gospel's being preached and the altar call is open and they know what they've heard is true, that Jesus is real, that he really died. And you come up to the altar and you get on your knees and you cry out and you say, God, I believe in you. I, 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 I love you. Thank you for sending your son. And as you say that prayer, the veil is taken off. You see the cross and you have an emotional experience and you're crying and God touches you like you've never been touched before. And in that moment, you know that God is real. And then the service ends. And you go and you know something happened. And you know that that, that that was something that you never experienced before. And you were looking forward to the next week. But you have a rough week. And you've had a long day at work. And someone was talking bad about you. Your boss yelled at you. And, and you found out that, that you got to get a schedule change. And all everything is just going against you. And you're on your way home. And you're driving by the liquor store. I'm just, this is an old personal story of what the devil has done to me in my life. Um, you're driving by the liquor store. So then you think, I had a real rough day. This really sucks. I just need a couple drinks. You go into the liquor store. You get the liquor. You go home. You start taking shot. You start thinking about how your boss did you dirty and how those people were saying that. And then you're just slamming them down, slamming them down. And then you're angry. And then you're lonely. And then all of a sudden, you go to the computer and you start watching porn. And the devil's got you back up in a veil. And you realize that God was, you had this encounter with God, but now you can't really see again because now you're all stuck up in the sin and you feel guilty about taking the shots and watching the pornography. And you go to work and you're still frustrated at your boss and you can't let go of the anger of everything that has happened. And you go and you have uh, more shots after that next day at work and you watch more porn, but then you still, you remember what happened. So you come back to church and you come and you hear the message preached and you know that God's there and you come up to the altar and you cry and he opens your eyes again he says I forgive you and you start believing in God again and you feel this thing and you feel like God is working and then you go up and you go out and the service is over and then all of a sudden you have a rough day again and you haven't gotten in your Bible you haven't prayed and all of a sudden you're just going in this evil rotation of you go to church you get a breakthrough you go back out and do the same thing you come to church you get a breakthrough get clarity go back out and do the same thing because what God is really calling you to do is when you're here and the veil has been removed you come up and instead of just coming to the cross we all want to come to the cross get our get our sins forgiven and be changed but really what we're supposed to do is come to the cross and then come up and get on it and be crucified with God and say that I got whatever's not of you kill it I don't want any more of it take the desire away take the alcohol away take the lust away way kill it God kill all of my old me and you realize that the old you is dead and what you do when you leave is you pick up the cross and you say this isn't gonna be easy but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna walk the narrow path I'm gonna stay and listen to what the Lord is saying and I'm gonna carry my cross and it might get a little heavy it might get a little difficult and I might not know how I'm gonna make it but in those times I set it down I pray and all of a sudden then I got supernatural strength to lift my cross up and know that there is nothing that God can't do when I walk the narrow path and I crucify myself I carry my cross daily.
walk in the path in constant contact with the Lord, that is how God wants to set you free tonight. He wants you to get on the cross. Quit coming to it. Crucify your old self. Let him kill the old man and let him ride you up in freedom and let you know that he loves you. He destined you to be here and he has your healing here tonight.